What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at Remaster Media. Remaster Media lets you optimize your audio and video, video clips to give you superior sound in only a few minutes. It is on AppSumo right now, starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Uh, and it is right now, it has 20 reviews and a five taco rating, uh, which is awesome uh, for just launching in our store. Before we dive into the product itself, I just wanna tell you all a few quick things. Uh, the first is that if you want to tell us a little bit about your use case, why you are interested in Remaster Media, we'd love to hear that over in the chat room. If you have any questions about the tool, the deal, how to get set up, you can go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A box down below this video. We, uh, we do have somebody, Andrew's on standby, who is going to be answering those questions, but we will also be circling back to the questions at the end of the walk. Through. Uh, and the last thing is that there will be a replay of this. So if you want to watch this again, you know, as you're falling asleep, you could do that. If you need to step out, you can. If you're watching this from the replay, hello. All right. That's enough of me. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. And thank you, Peter, for joining us. It's great to have you. How are you doing? I am doing great. Thanks for inviting us to be a part of it. I'm excited to have you. I'm excited to walk through this. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to you. Let me know when you're ready to take some questions. I'm, I'm ready whenever you guys are. So let's jump, right, jump right into it. Jump right in. All right, cool. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for, uh, for joining and, um, and wanting to learn more about Remaster Media. Um, I thought that maybe what I do is just give you a little bit of a background on the company and um, what we're doing, where we're heading, and, um, and, and give you a little, um, a little taste of the technology that we're working with. Um, Remaster Media, I have to say, is, is the brainchild of my partner, Andrew Knox. Uh, Andrew and I are colleagues from the New York City music production world. Um, and uh, we, have, uh, we have had a, a professional and personal relationship for a really long time. And I have consulted for a company called Bon Jovi Acoustic Labs. Um, the technology that drives Bon Jovi Acoustic Labs was invented by a legendary producer by the name of Tony Bon Jovi. So the origins of this technology literally start in Motown. Um, Tony was a, 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 an engineer at Motown for many years, came back to New York and worked with people like the Ramones and the Talking Heads. And then his crowning achievement was um, he built in my humble opinion, the best recording studio in the world called Power Station. Um, as Tony got out of the business, he, he is a mad scientist and invented an extraordinary digital technology called appropriately Digital Power Station. And Digital Power Station technology basically fuels um, many of the endeavors that Bon Jovi Acoustic Labs does. And this same technology that we're going to introduce to you today, which has about 70 patents, um, what it can do to audio for content, um, it, 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 it's based on the same fundamental that they use um, when they are using audio in their medical division, in their aviation division, in, in VR. So it's really an extraordinary product. And because it's basically an algorithm. It has both incredible power and flexibility to work in a number of different environments. So that's the technology overview. Andrew, knowing about this technology, um, we'd had conversations about a lot of folks have sort of been frustrated now that we're in this digital realm where everything is being streamed be it YouTube, um, uh, Hulu, Netflix, whatever, there's a, there's a real lack of consistency and audio quality in the digital world. And how can folks who don't have a lot of time, don't have the type of resources that an NBC might have, um, and, how can they ensure that all of their hard, all the hard work that they put into creating their audio content is going to sound professional um, and engaging to their audience and, and really truly pop in the midst of all of this other content out there? 
So we talked about we talked about developing an online mastering platform utilizing this technology, but Andrew took it one better and said, "Well, you know, everybody everybody's uploading videos. Um, what if folks could upload their video, have the audio content mastered, and then have it bounce back to them in one easy step, and then they can post it on Facebook, they can post it on YouTube." It was really a pretty, um, pretty intuitive call because um, uh, you know the, the response to that has really been pretty amazing, and it has then allowed us to take the whole principle of mastering and apply it to things like podcasts or people's music or you know a club performance or even a lecture. There are now so many applications with audio and the requirement for audio to meet both the specifications of all of these digital platforms, as well as trying to compensate for some of the, I'll call it imperfections, but really some of the degrading factors that happen during the streaming process. And one thing that this technology does that no other technology can do intuitively is look at all of those points in an audio file that get, um, literally get destroyed when something is streamed or compressed and, and, and build it back up and make it feel like full resolution audio. And it's designed really for the digital world. That's why when you go on Remaster Media, you'll never see anything like CD quality. First of all, when was the last time you saw a CD? And unless you're sitting in your living room listening to a CD, you're listening to some either an mp3 or you're listening to spotify and that information is streamed to you so you need to you need to appropriately set your audio content for that digital delivery um so that that's a little overview of the, the in the in the weeds part of the technology a couple of things that we are typically asked at remaster is okay so what is mastering and why do I need to master it? And why do I need to master? The second of which I kind of touched upon just now, but mastering is the last step in the chain. It's the last thing that an artist, a film producer, any person that is dealing with a final audio product, it's the last thing that you add that assures that your product is pristine and gorgeous and the way it should sound given the medium it's being broadcast on. If you're, if you are, um, if you're a film producer and it's being broadcast in a theater, well, you're gonna wanna mix, not for CD, but you're gonna wanna mix for how it would output in a theater. By the same token, you might want to, if you have something that is going to be released on Spotify, you want to make sure that that mix now complies with how things need to appear on Spotify, both technically and otherwise. And it's the same reason why an artist like an Ariana Grande or John Mayer or anybody masters their music after they've finished mixing. Mixing is the point at which you decide which instruments to add, what reverb to use, how much bass to put on your track, where to put the vocal. Those are all decisions that you make. Those are your creative decisions. What mastering does is take those things that you have creatively mixed and balanced and make sure that you get much deeper clarity, that your bass is deep, but also defined, um, that your stereo imaging is just lush and gorgeous. So it's what we endeavor to do is really what Tony Bon Jovi's vision was as, a, as an engineer and, and studio owner, which is to preserve the vision of the artist or the content creator. We're not going to change your sound. We are going to make it, very simply put, better. And there are different levels of better. And based on your content, how our technology addresses it, 
um, is based on a lot of different factors. That's why we give you a number of different choices. But mastering is that very last thing that you add that just puts a beautiful sheen and helps balance out everything, mostly focused towards digital delivery. Now, there are some profiles that you'll find that, if, let's say you're releasing a TV commercial and you're doing it for broadcast, there are some profiles that address specifically that method of, uh, 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 of broadcast or distribution, if you will. Um, why do you need to master? My background is in advertising. I spent many, many years as a music director at an ad agency. So I've had, to, I've had to deal with a real cross current of different types of media. And at the end of the day now, there is just, there are, there's so much out there between ads and, and TV shows and reality shows and films and you name it. And you are now competing or we are all competing with a much, much, much larger audience of people vying for those slots. So the, the refrain that I hear constantly now is that it has to be broadcast ready. Things will actually now be rejected. You could write a great song or pr produce a great podcast, but iHeart's gonna reject it because it doesn't sound professional. What we're really trying to do is give you a tool that will quickly, inexpensively, and super professionally bring your audio product up to the same level or really darn close to the level of the folks who are spending hours and serious dollars um, competing on that level. Um, and, um, you know, and, we, and we, really, we really think that we've done so, are the, the feedback to Remaster Media has been really pretty extraordinary. We've, we've had some, um, some great partnerships in, in very disparate areas. Um, uh, a, a major ad agency, Wonderman Thompson in New York, um, has, uh, has used Remaster Media to design a, uh, uh, to help master rather, uh, a podcast series that they've been working with on for uh, Microsoft. And I'll actually play a, uh, an example of that. Um, we also have a partnership with a great online hip hop and um, rap application called Rap Chat. They asked us to design mastering profiles specific to the um, rap and hip hop world. And you can now find us on your, on, on their, both on their app, but some of those pro profiles, if you're a hip hop artist, you'll actually find those on Remaster Media as well. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on and, and, and every day we find that our original vision has expanded because so many different people are coming to us, whether you're producing a movie, a podcast, a student film, uh, a record, you name it. Um, there's a tremendous amount of value, we think, in making people's product competitive and making it sound professional. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to keep, we're, we're going to keep, we're going to keep making it better. We're going to keep giving everyone more options. We're, the great thing is, is that we really take in feedback and we want your feedback. So if there are things that, or, or profiles or certain use cases that we should be addressing, we can very easily create more profiles to, um, to help segments of the market that we haven't even really addressed yet. So Anyway, that's the, that's, the, that's the sort of overview of both the technology and why we're doing what we're doing. So I think at this point, um, the, the best thing that I can do is to give you a couple of, um, uh, of examples of exactly how you go about the mastering process. Um, uh, I, we, I can show you some of the previews so you can, you can hear how it addresses and, and, and shapes the sound based on um, the various uh, types of content that you hear. And, um, uh, and basically just get a sense for how easy it is to work on the platform. And then I'll tell you where else we're going with this because there's a lot of exciting things you know, in, the, in the not too distant future for this company. We're gonna be around for a bit. 
So let me, let me get into the screen share mode and I will pop in some videos and some audio tracks and we'll, we'll, uh, I'll take you through the use cases. All right, cool. So when you get to remaster media, this is what you're going to see, and we've got some, you know, we've got some some cool examples. You can you can you can check them out um, as to you know what what kind of changes uh, the technology does. Um, we've got Chris over here, who's an extremely gifted songwriter. He remastered his track. Um, you can hear the original and then hear what it sounds like remastered. We've got uh, we've got a podcast. Um, we've got a hip hop track. So there's a lot of stuff that you can sample, but at the end of the day, the best thing you can do is take your own tracks, take your own videos and for free um, audition and see how it works for you and see what works best for you. All right. So I'm going to take, let's see, what, what should we do first? All right. So I'm going to take a, a, a since it's my background, I'll start with it first. I'm going to take a TV commercial. And this is a legit commercial. Um, I wound up writing and producing the music for it. Um, it was a, a commercial for Visa in conjunction with NBC. And so here's, here's a perfect way to use this as a tool based on what the needs of the industry is. And the industries the broadcast TV industry and the digital media industry are, are vanilla and chocolate. They're two different things. So how do you make something that is designed for one medium sound great on the other? Okay, so this spot was released on TV and the specs for TV are really quite different. Um, so I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna upload this commercial and what they wanted to do is they wanted to then take it and put it on um, on their website, on the on the on the corporate website of Visa. And when they got it up there, they realized, hmm, it doesn't sound as compelling. It doesn't sound as full and rich as it did for TV. And the reason is is that it it never would, never could, unless you remaster it now for this new use. So. If they had done this, take that commercial, drag it here where it says upload media. Go to channel four. Yeah. Sorry. Let me go back again. My bad. Here we go. All right. So you click the little new media tab up here. Now, take your video really easily, just drag it right here in the cloud. All right, and it's and it's already loaded. So that's a that's a thirty second piece of video with audio attached to it, loaded and ready to go. So here are all of your mastering choices. Um, if you were doing this for TV, you might be down here. You might be a TV broadcast and other applications, but we're not. Now we want to master this for uh, for a digital platform. Um, we have, some, we have some profiles down here that will do some noise reduction work. Let's say you've recorded something that's got some, like a lot of background noise or whatever, you can actually use it to do some noise reduction um, uh, cleanup. That's not the case here. We've got our hip hop profiles here. Again, not the case here. So what we're gonna be working with are our sort of main profiles up top. Now I've got a couple that, always default to for me, which are level boost and max presence. But when you get there, all of these boxes will be available to you. Now, you can sort of say to yourself, all right, what, what do I need to do to this commercial? Well, this commercial sounded quiet online. What do I need to do? How, how can I make it pop more, give it more body, so forth and so on? So I'm going to want to boost it a little bit. So all right, let's try smooth boost. and some, yeah, probably need some clarity and yeah, let's bring out some of the detail. Um, voice focus tends to be for commercials or for content that are sort of just voiceover, if you will. 
But you can check every one of these boxes and you can preview all of them, but we're gonna preview just these five, okay? So now we go down here and just click okay proceed because you should. Um, and if you've signed up, which you need to, and pop your email in there, you check the box that says email when optimization finishes. So hit the start remastering process button. And now it's doing its thing. And when it's ready, you'll both see when it's ready here because you'll then get a screen that will allow you to go through your options, but you'll also get an email stating that. So in literally just a few seconds, now your ability to preview that content and the type of mastering that the that will take place with the audio um, is available for you to audition. And the good news is that in real time, so you can click play and you can go through all of these and go back to the original. You can toggle back and forth to just see the, the amount of change, the type of change and uh, you know, to your heart's content. Before I go on, one thing is really, really important. If you can, if you're seeing the screen, this is your waveform. Many of you probably know that. So uh, one thing that this technology does is see all, see all of these peaks and valleys, those are your dynamics. And that's what makes audio interesting. And the reason I say that is, is that when some technologies need to make things louder, what they do is they typically compress them. And I won't, I won't get into the super weeds on that, but they will make everything so loud, but then because of the limitations of how loud something can be on the air, they set what is called a, a brick wall limiting, limiter, which is kind of, it kind of looks like what it says it is, is that now all of that, all of those spaces are gone away and it's now completely filled in and the little peaks and valleys are literally chopped off so that you just get this dense um, amount of both audio, but now you've lost all of those, you know, sometimes the quiet moments are as important as the loud moments. So this, our technology is meant to retain your, the dynamic properties that you build into them. And that's what we think keeps the interest. So you'll see that things get richer, but, that the, dy the dynamic still holds. All right, so I'll play a little bit of the commercial. This is how it sounds originally. Go to camera four. Now one. Go to commercial. Let's get coffee. All right, so let's check out Balance Clarity. Now close. Three, please. And three. Let's go to level boost. Gotta refill. Okay, here's what you're doing. You reloaded already? Yeah. Visa Checkout makes it easy to reload your card online, even when you're in line. Get time Maybe. back using your DD card on the, the Duncan Mobile app with Visa Checkout. The you can go back. Okay, good. Play the hold. Now closed. Three, please. And here's your original. Three. Mobile. Got to refill. Okay, here's what you're doing. You reload it already. And you can play with this as long as you want. Quickly to my ear. Deep detail seems to be the way to go for me. I like that it brought it brought out a lot of clarity. It made things pop more. Um, there was still a warmth, but you know what? This is a creative endeavor, so you can choose which works best for you. But as you can see, all of your dynamics still hold true. You've got all of this, you know, all the middle of the track is where all your gorgeous harmonics and EQs are, are being, you know, are being enhanced. Um, and if you just, if you keep toggling back and forth, that's where you're gonna make your choices. Once you've, once you've made your choice, so, all right, we'll go with deep detail. That's the one I like the best. At that point, once you've, uh, you know, once you're ready, once you're ready to go, you just hit add to cart and hit mastering, and then it will 
it will download your completed video with this new audio mastering. All right, let's try let's try something else. Um, I know there there may be some um, musicians in the crowd. So this was a this was a track that was sent to me by a really really wonderful young artist. Her name is Riley Pinkerton. She's a singer songwriter. She works with her partner Henry Black, and she had recorded a track live in a club, fairly well recorded, but when she got it up on her Facebook page, it just, it sounded okay. It didn't sound great. So she asked if, um, if we would remaster it for her. This was before we actually had the platform up, but now I can do it for you guys in, in real time. So here's her MP MP3 of her live performance. Once again, take it. Just that quick, and that's a full song. Um, because I can, I'm gonna listen to all of these profiles. I don't know which one's gonna work the best. Um, and to be honest, as I said before, you think you might want balanced clarity, but at the end of the day, deep detail is really what hits your ear the best, and there are no rights or wrongs. You, you make your choices based on um, what sounds best to your ear and what you know your audience wants. All right, okay, proceed. Email me when it finishes and start remastering. So we're now gonna remaster an entire song in seconds and we'll have six different previews to check out. Okay, so I'll give you a little bit of the tune as it was originally recorded and sent to me. When I see pain All right, let's try balance clarity. Okay, let me let's try something else. Let's try deep detail. Let's go back to the original and just reference it a little bit. Yeah, that gives it some nice warmth. I think I want to, I want the vocal to pop a little bit more. Let's see. Back to the vocal. That's nice. Back to the original. Once again, it's up to you guys. You know, it'll uh, it'll depend on what strikes your ear the best. But certainly, I think you can hear a pretty serious improvement. All right, let's let's quickly do another one now. Um, here is a. All right, so actually here is a, here's a, this is a podcast. This is a, this is a great example of, this was, this was one of the podcasts that was produced for Microsoft. And so the, the podcast starts off with the moderator setting up the podcast. And then 
speaking to her subject um, in the podcast. And as you'll see, the person who's being interviewed is either being interviewed by phone or by Skype or some kind of teleconference and the voice clarity changes quite significantly. And this is a great way to make those types of audio files um, much richer, much uh, more compelling and a lot clearer. Um, one thing to keep in mind too is, is that if you are a podcast producer or a producer of any kind that's dealing with audio that is inferior in some way based on where it was recorded and it's part of a production, you can go in and pre-master that interview or that lecture or whatever it might be, clean that out using one of the profiles, then go in and create and produce your programming and then run the whole program through Remaster Media because this technology is actually additive. It'll actually know when it has, um, it has already added and subtracted from the content. It's really pretty incredible in that realm. So let's go in now. Let's see what voice focus does on this one since this is a more voiceover focused thing. Um, I, we know we want to try and add some clarity to what is a, fo a phone call. And probably we're going to want to maybe boost a little bit of the levels because as you'll see in the waveform, um, the level of the person, of the interviewer, is somewhat lower than the person doing the interviewing. So let's go in. OK, proceed. Email me. Let's start the remaster. OK, so here's our little podcast. Here's what it sounds like. And welcome. You're listening to Connected and Ready, an ongoing conversation about innovation, resilience, and our capacity to succeed, brought to you by Microsoft. In today's episode, I'm chatting to Maureen Fleming, Program Vice President at IDC. Uh, you'll hear a significant change when Maureen jumps on. A competitive edge. Maureen, thank you so much for coming and joining us on the show. Um, I wonder if you could just start by giving us a little bit of an introduction to yourself. Good to join you. Uh, so I'm an analyst at IDC, and I run the research program. Okay, so that's a sound we've all come to know and love, especially everybody sitting in the middle of a pandemic and being on Zoom calls and what have you, um, is, okay, so now you're coming off of somebody who sounds richer and clearer onto what is the fishbowl -y sound of, you know, a, a, of, a, of a Google Hangouts or a, or a Skype call or whatever. So if we go through some of these profiles, you'll actually see, you can, you can see the richness of this part of the audio and you can see how it kind of thins out and gets, you know, kind of weird and, and, and not so interesting over here. If you go through some of the profiles, you can now take that compromised audio and give it back some life. So here's what she sounds I'm like now. Called intelligent process automation, which looks at a variety let's, of let's, technology. Let's go max presence. To automate. Primarily focused on how people automate tasks and how people Maybe automate their business clarity. operations. Yes, yeah, so let's dive into that a little bit because this word automation or to automate, we're hearing a, a lot about it. Let's break that down. I'm an analyst at IDC and I run the research program called Intelligent. Process That's what she automation. sounds like for real. A variety of technologies that are used to automate. Primarily focused and on that's how what she people sounds like with that now. automate tasks and how people and let's go voice business focus. operations. Yeah, so let's dive into that a little bit because this word automation or tool with technology. In effect, it either can mimic what was done manually or uh, it's okay. It's not that technology not thrilling. That means that you don't need to do it yourself anymore. An example would be when you think, think about um, cars. I remember years and years and years ago, I learned how to drive a car using a stick Smooth shift. Smooth boost is kind of cool. And so I did learn how to pop 
pop in the clutch and shift gears. And so that and you intelligent do process automation, which looks at a variety of technologies that are used to automate. So the question is, which would you want to listen to? Would you want to listen to the flat audio? And remember, this was produced for Microsoft. Um, so we can breathe life into audio that has been compromised um, because of the limitations of the technology. Um, we can't fix it. We can make it better and make it more compelling. And we did this to a series of these uh, Microsoft um, interviews, which are now, I believe they're now on Apple Podcasts. And um, they turned out great. Microsoft loves them. And um, we actually taught Microsoft um, why they needed to do this mastering process because you know, every, everybody's jumping into the world of podcasts. It's a huge, huge market. So um, how, how do you, the podcaster producer, produce content that, um, that competes and befits um, the level of quality that is necessary to be on iHeart, Spotify, wherever? This will help you get there, especially if you have problems with um, the, the content that you're using to create your podcast. Um, let's, let's try another. Okay, so I'm going to uh, shamelessly self-promote a really dear friend. This is a music video from a really, really talented guy by the name of Freedom Bremer. And I think Freedom, we, he released this, I don't know, maybe six or eight months ago. It's up on YouTube. And when he first put it up there, he said to me, he said, man, I went through all of these gyrations and I mixed the hell out of this thing and it was banging in the studio and I put it up on YouTube and it just, the bottom fell out. Um, I know you're working with this technology. What can we do to really make this thing pop? So um, we remastered it for him. So I'm playing for you the video that Freedom gave us to remaster for him. And now that remastered video actually lives on YouTube and it sounds amazing. So let's, let, let's throw on a couple of profiles here. Let's just do, let's run the gamut here. Smooth boost, deep detail. Um, let's see. He's not really a hip hop artist per se, but I'm gonna go hip hop max presence just, just for the heck of it. He's an R and B artist. Um, Super talented guy. Let's remaster his, his, his video. And know that what you will get is you'll get a 90 second preview of whatever your content is. Um, and um, uh, again, that will show you exactly which, uh, you know, which profile you're, you're gonna wanna choose. It should give you plenty of time and you can go back and forth as much as you can. Um, this was like a five minute video. So just a second, you'll be there soon. Okay, so I'm gonna take you into it a little bit because there's a bit of an intro. So we went through, we went through a few different presets with freedom.
Now in this, you can feel that the base kind of came out more and got, got deeper. This one didn't really do much. Here's the original. So in full disclosure, Smooth Boost was the one that he chose because of how it just brought a lot of the background information out, but also kept his voice really front and center. Oh, Andrew's saying you can't hear the audio. It's hmm. kind of going in and out. It might be a little too loud. Yeah, we should note something that Andrew mentioned uh, in the chat a little bit earlier is that yeah. the uh, audio is going to sound a little bit different in this like recording um, than it's going to sound to you. That's just like for everybody of course. listening to this in the replay. It's It's all a little bit different. It's going to um, sound different depending on what you're listening to right now. Yeah. On your computer, you could be on Apple earbuds, um, right. <laughs> you know, whatever that's going to be. You will, you will hear these changes. They're going to image different. I'm sitting here with studio monitors on. So, um, you know, I, I've got that amount of detail coming at me. But um, once again, you can quickly toggle through all of these and, and, and get to the place that you need to be as a producer, as an artist, um, to, to make your tracks ready for digital distribution. That's what this is designed to do. We're not releasing CDs. We, this, is, this is about the medium that everybody is living on and making a living on. That's really what drives us. And Andrew said, let me see, there's a question. Is there a good way to use this with musicians' audio tracks? Yes. Okay, so there's a two part question. So, as a musician and a producer, I can tell you that you can take your tracks, let's say, one of, one of the things that, and, and you'll hear this if you're on headphones or on monitors or whatever. If you're listening on a computer, you may not hear it quite so much, but one of the things that Remaster Media Technology does is really give you a gorgeous expansion of the stereo field. If you've created stereo, it's going, you're gonna feel your environment. Things are gonna come out, all of your little details will come out. Things like if, if, if you want to master just a vocal, or you or strings, let's say you're doing strings and you want to get that beautiful height and reverb or whatever, you can you can individually master those tracks. So you can output them from your DAW from Pro Tools or Logic or whatever, upload it, get the sound that you want, and then pop it right back into your, your DAW. Um, I've done it many times. And it's a question we get asked all the time which leads us to our next, you know, our next product, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the screen share. There we go. So for that reason, and, and it's weird because a lot of people ask us, you, you guys came from the music business, why didn't you create something that was sort of specific to music creation? And um, I don't have a great answer for it. It's just that the focus of what Bon Jovi Acoustics has turned into from a company where this technology came from is really now in very, very alternative uses of sound like medicine and aviation. But its roots allow us to then look back at 
the content and music space and go, oh, okay, well, if there's a need, let's fill it. So in answer to this question, which has come up many times before, we said, okay, so we've got folks who have their content all remixed, whether it's on a video or their song or whatever. And Remaster Media is a great place to go and get that done in one, in one shot. But what if you're creating something and you've got a number of tracks and you're working in Pro Tools or you could be working in Final Cut, where, where, wherever you're creating your audio tracks, what if there was something that could be used in those digital workstations? So we answered that call. And very shortly, we're going to be releasing a DAW plugin, a mastering plugin that can be used for Pro Tools, Logic, Nuendo. Um, it can be used in Final Cut. It can be used in Avid, wherever. And you can do your master, you could do your remaster media mastering right inside of your session. So it would be it would be in your mastering chain. It would be the last thing in your mastering chain. You Again, you set up all your reverb, you set your levels and whatever, and then you pop this baby at the very end in your mix bus, and it will, it will achieve the same results. In fact, it will give you some more flexibility because there are some more robust parameters to change. But the other thing is, like what I just said with remasters, you can take that plugin, and you can put it in as many different channels as you want. You can put it on your acoustic guitar. You can put it on your vocals. You can put it on your drum kit. Um, it has that kind of flexibility. It's very CPU friendly. And um, this was in answer to a lot of people, not just in the music community, but film mixers. Anybody who is sitting in front of Pro Tools or something and wanted to be able to do that within the confines of their workstation. So we are going to be releasing that very shortly. Uh, we have a company in Berlin uh, called Mod Devices that is very anxiously awaiting that as well. Um, so, and those are, you know, that's one of the things that's, that's in our pipeline um, that, you know, that, that we're really sort of building this, this company upon. We're also getting very heavily into gaming. We're using this technology um, on the on the esports side, one of one of our colleagues, a guy named Rob Lee, is very deeply in the esports world, and we've exposed this technology to folks in the professional gaming community, and they are falling in love with it because one of one thing that we can do that really kind of nobody can because of the nature of this algorithm is that it can work in real time, and by that I mean if you stream something through it, it will master it in real time. So we are developing a platform that will allow you, um, any company, I mean, it could be Netflix, it could be Spotify, it could be anyone who's streaming audio, our API can be adapted into your, um, you know, into your platform or into your website and we can we can process and master your audio while it's being streamed. Um, so it's really extraordinary. And like I said, we're sort of we're, we're building this up. It was brick by brick, but now it's brick by 10 bricks by 20 bricks. There's a lot going on. Um, you know, the, the future is really, really bright. And um, uh, there is um, there's a lot of depth and breadth to what we're developing here. So um, I probably rambled on forever, so. <laughs> You've done great, thank you. Um, so we're, we are gonna start to wrap this up here. Cool. Sumo Langs, if you have any last second questions that you wanna squeeze in. Um, we do have a question here. Maximilian wants to know uh, what you were just talking about. Is that included or is that a different deal? It's a, complete, it's a completely different deal because it'll be a completely different um, piece of technology. I mean, Remaster Media lives on the Remaster Re Media website. That will be the, the way we're thinking about it is it, it is a plugin that you will own. We'll probably do it as a, a, a repeating license, you know, every year. Um, we're going to price it. One of the things I've been dedicated to having been in the music business a long time is really trying to help young composers and just producers of any kind. Um, it's so hard now, everybody's getting crushed. We're gonna price this so that it's very, very user-friendly. 
but also make the technology as user friendly. I. They want to know I, if it's going to be launched on AppSumo. Will it be launched on AppSumo? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna punt that one over to Andrew. Andrew, is it gonna Andrew be? Andrew says if we are invited back, that means it's in my hands. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, let's put it this way. I don't see why we wouldn't because we've had such wonderful success and we've gotten tacos. So tacos. I mean, five minutes or not, but we're going we're to be launching this very shortly. We're just putting it through its paces. We've got some serious people um, just testing it out and trying to break it and all of that stuff. But right now, um, it's just about ready to go. Wonderful. We love to hear that. Um, I'm going to share a few comments that we've gotten um, as yeah. we're going through. Uh, Maximilian says, I'm a customer and can confirm that it sounds not only a bit better than in the stream, but a lot better than what we're hearing in the stream. So whatever cool. y'all have heard here, and, and Susan did point out, you know, we could see the difference in the wave files that you spoke about, um, and you could definitely hear a difference. Um, and just imagine whatever you heard here today, much better even. So there you go. Um, another comment that we got, I wanted to find it, but I don't know that I can, um, was, oh, Susan said, after only remastering two files, I love it. And we'll go back to get more codes from AppSumo. It's a fantastic service. I'd awesome. love to hear this, you all. Thank you all so much for checking in with us today. The questions that we did get, I'm just gonna, it has transformed my videos. Uh, I'm just gonna summarize the answers that Andrew gave to a couple questions that I'm sure are popular, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, so can you send remastered video or audio, excuse me, directly to YouTube? Uh, at the moment, you'll have to download it and then integration with other platforms is on the roadmap. Simuling, I know you love a roadmap uh, and I know you love an integration. So you can look forward to that coming up. Um, and then the other question that I know is a common one, uh, when do hours get counted? Um, the minutes are only charged when you download the final mastered version. Um, so you can upload and preview and download your content for free. Um, and when you do that, it'll have a watermark on it, but otherwise you can play with it and, and make sure you got it sounding exactly right. Is there anything else you want to add to those? The only thing I wanted to say is, is that again, because of, you know, what, what we're really dedicated to do is I want to encourage everybody to give us your feedback, give us your thoughts, Give us your ideas. We want to know about your workflow. We want to know about the things that you're doing. There may be projects and types of applications that you're working on that we haven't really thought about. And you can help us help you. So please feel free, uh, email us, text us, go to Remaster Media, send your question, whatever, whatever it takes. But you're, you're our focus group. So please, by all means, Give us your feedback, good, bad, or indifferent. We need it so that we can make it better. I'm sure they love to hear that. So Sumolings, that's your cue, appsumo.com slash remastermedia. It is starting at $59 for a lifetime deal, of course, backed by AppSumo's 60-day guarantee. So go ahead, play around with it, see how this works for you. I've heard some pretty great things here today. Um, and we, of course, want to hear your comments. You can leave your reviews on the deal page, and uh, you can also leave more questions, more recommendations. We do love to hear your use cases, why you're interested in these products. Um, it definitely helps make it better and always more well-rounded. Um, we really appreciate you being here here today, Peter, uh, for walking us through, Andrew, for uh, answering all of these questions and making it so uh, I had very few to ask afterwards, um, none to ask afterwards. He answered every single question that came in. You guys are all stars. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Cool. Thank you. Bye.